Hey everybody, it's Brandy back again, and today I'm coming to you guys with another wig review. This one is from FridayNightHair.com. So if you guys want to see more about this sleek and super sexy hair, just stay tuned. So this is the GLS 26 in a number 1B. I don't think it comes in other colors. Here are the adhesive straps you can put on your hair to hold it to your hairline. And this I'm showing you the combs in the front, and there's also a comb in the back as well as adjustable straps. So I like to go ahead and put it on my head before I cut the laces just to see how it looks and how I wanna go about styling this. Normally I don't have to do too much with these. So when I flipped it to the front, like it got super tangled so fast. So I went ahead and combed it out just so I can kinda get a better look at this. So this is what it looks like sleek down. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the lace. I normally never show this part and you kind of guys, you know, kind of, I guess, trust my word of mouth when I say that it's easy to cut, but you can see how easy it is. Um, it's a little bit easier because I have this mannequin head, but you can always use your hand to kind of see where the hair and the lace separate. Super easy, guys. So there's a lot of positive and negatives about this hair. Let's just go ahead and get into it. But let's start with the pros. So what I like about this hair is that it's a nice, uh, it's nice length size. So it goes like down to right here, which is like waist length for me, which I really like it. And um, like I said, it's really long. I like long hair. It is pretty soft. There's no, there's no real harsh smell. Like normally when I get FridayNightHair.com wigs, uh, there's this, you know, this factory type of smell with every wig, and you know I've got to become used to it because it just, it's always there, but. This time, I, this one doesn't have that smell, so thank you. I mean, that's a step up for me. So I really like that about this particular wig. I also like the fact that it's just one of those, again, cut the lace off and kind of go. I was going to put a part in it, but that kind of leads me to my cons. The parting space on this wig is, like, very small. So if I put a part in it, it'll probably be, like, this small. Like, I can't do nothing with it. I don't think it would look cute to me. I would like the parts to be a little bit longer, but that's just me. So that I didn't like, that there's not a lot of parting space if I wanted to. Um, another thing that I did not like is the fact that this hair sheds a lot. Um, at first I thought maybe it was because I cut the lace off and some hair came out, whatever, that does happen sometimes, but it just kept coming and kept coming. And sometimes when I'm running my hands through it, I get more and more shedding. So I'm not even gonna touch it anymore because I don't want it to shed because I really like it. Um, it is thick though, I will say that. It's a lot thicker than what I thought it was gonna be. So I'm cool with that. Hopefully it stays that way, um, even though it sheds the way it does. I also don't like the fact that this hair tangles so easily. Like I've had other units from this company and I felt like it didn't tangle so, like it tangles, don't get me wrong, yes but it didn't tangle this easily, like to the point where if you were to swoop your hair from this side to this side, it's gonna take you doing, not only doing that, but you're gonna have to detangle again because it just, it just really like clumps together. So that I really don't like. Um, see, more hair. I didn't do nothing this time. I really don't like that at all. Ugh. Y'all know me, I don't like sh hair shedding too much. I mean, yeah, your hair is gonna shed, sometimes that's a given, but if it sheds too much, I get embarrassed because if I go to somebody's house and I start shedding everywhere, I don't think that's cute. But like I said, this hair is really, really nice. I really like the fact that it's really long, no smell, and I like how it came out in the front a little bit. I don't know. I gotta lay my edges down. I mean, for it not to blend in, I feel like it's it did a really good job. I'll show you a clip in um in this video to show you guys what the actual front of the wig looks like um, on a mannequin head. And the reason I wanted to show you that is because I know some people want to put it on their hairline, and that's up to you. I'll show you how it looks. It's actually a really good, like kind of pre-plucked look. It's very thin in the front, so you can wear it as that frontal look if you want to. Put it on your edge line so if you want to do that that's cool like i said i like the way that it looks on the edge line i just don't like the fact that the lace is so hard but yeah this one is really short and is simple i mean with fridaynighthair.com i don't really have a lot to say because it's kind of the same thing over and over again and these wigs normally stay 
very consistent with the initial review to the update. So I don't, like I said, I don't really have anything to say, honestly, the shedding, I just hope that that isn't something that's gonna happen all the time because it's, it's really annoying. If you have any comments or concerns, please let me know in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to you. And also let me know what you guys think about this wig. Uh, also let me know about some type of like, some type of textures or kind of curl patterns you would like to see. I feel like I do the same ones over and over again and I kind of want to kind of switch it up. So let me know what y'all think. And uh, yeah, so I will see you all in my next video. Bye.